Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I am Sabira aka Sabra the Summer. I hope you're doing well this Tuesday. I hope your week has been going well. I hope so. Um, apologies for no uploads on Thursday and also no stream last week. Last week was a bit of a, a crazy week. Um, our, our cat was ill and then had to be put down and then our second cat passed away literally the day the next day. So it was a lot. It was a lot. Sorry for the heavy topic straight off the bat but yeah that's why it was just a lot i was it was already overwhelmed anyway with just everything going on at home but on top of that it was it was a lot so yeah i just took that week to just be with the family to accept what had happened and like take him what had happened as well because it all happened very quickly so yeah like i said it was a lot but yeah let's get into today's build i'm actually really pleased with the way this build turned out i'm looking at the photo in the gallery now and for some reason the door is invisible and that's very annoying so yeah you're gonna have to probably i don't know how it would look when you download it hopefully when you download it it doesn't do that glitchy thing where you have to click on it and to get it to like be usable because sometimes sims don't walk through the door if you can't actually see the door like you can just see the frame it's a weird weird glitch that the sims have and it's very annoying but yeah i'm very proud of this build turned out the way i wanted it turned out i don't know why well i do know why my favorite part is literally the car with the boat on it <laughs> that's literally my favorite part but um yeah i have kind of done like a, a series but not an official series like i haven't got a separate playlist for this it's just a bunch of base game builds that relate to the base game careers and skills so if you have a particular story like story line storyline that you want to play out with the sims based on the fact that you just have base game or you just have a storyline that they want to play out and you want a home for them then this is kind of what i'm doing for this little series um i've done a baker i've done well i've done a baker slash gardener i've done a bartender and is there another one i've done and i just didn't upload or is there another one that i've done and i forgot could have forgotten but yeah i think that's what i've done so far and then this one is for a fisher someone who likes i say a fisher is there like a gender neutral term for someone who fishes i guess i could just say someone who fishes <laughs> so this is a home for someone who is a person who likes fishing or sim that likes fishing and i decided to kind of go with the storyline of that it was like an elderly sim their partner had passed away and they're currently still living this their son who is a young adult is still living in the house with them and mainly because obviously the elder sim is by themselves and the son doesn't want to kind of leave him by himself but the son being a young adult kind of obviously wants to go out and do his own thing but he's aware that he doesn't want to leave his dad and also he does have in mind that the dad has been like this is going to be your home like you know when the elderly sim passes away which is kind of sad but you know that's how i had it in my head so we've got like an outdoorsy elderly sim who loves fishing i can imagine like maxed out the fishing skill loves it enjoys being outside enjoys collecting things so i've obviously used a lot of the fisher like the fishes the, the mounted fishes in this build because obviously you know it's a fish it's a fisherman's house and they like fishing <laughs> i can already tell this voiceover is going to be all over the place because but i feel like when i don't consistently do voiceovers my ability to talk just goes out the window so bear with me as i get back into the swing of things because i feel like even though i do talk outside of voice notes i mean voice notes voiceovers it feels different to do voiceovers than it is to just talk but one day i'll get so comfortable to the point where i feel like i'm just talking and it won't feel like oh my gosh i'm doing a voiceover i have to talk a certain way or say things a certain way or whatever the case may be so yeah the overthinking should stop eventually <laughs> um but yeah i was really happy with the way that this build turned out i do believe there's a reference image i'm gonna pop it on the screen for some reason i can't remember but i'm pretty sure there is i'm pretty sure there is a reference image that i use because i don't do a lot of building like freehand or just like from my own inspiration i do use a lot of reference images and that's kind of how i've practiced building through reference images so if you want any help building i would definitely say find a build that doesn't have too many complicated shapes or angles or anything like that make it easier for yourself start simple and then work your way up to doing like bigger builds or builds with like diagonal walls and like add-ons and all that kind of stuff like just start simple and then gradually work your way up but yeah i really enjoyed putting together this build it came together very quickly to be fair like i thought um it might take a while but i i literally just like had fun building it so it went by really quickly and i was i was enjoying myself i was a bit like now i kind of want to play out this this life this story because i really don't play with the fishing skill at all because it's just not one of the skills that my sims normally have or do and i know it's kind of stereotypical to have it as like an elderly sim does like likes fishing but i just like the storyline of like this is like a family home and then 
um, the mother has passed away and then so it's like the father and son that have just spent this time together for a while. I also had in mind that the son was maybe a photographer, like I can imagine he's like got a creative side to him and I was also thinking maybe it's just a bit of a contrast because of the fact that you know he grew up in this very I'd say a very humble home they didn't have loads of things it is a kind of small squishy home and I kind of like the feel of it to be fair it feels very cozy and homey and like just humble I mean the price is humble it is 64,000 Simonian so it's not cheap <laughs> but I think playing in a house at that price I'm pretty sure bills would probably be like 2k or something which nowadays is pretty reason pretty much like on the bar of like what people have to pay for just the smallest of homes because there are three rooms in this house there's two bathrooms so the floor plan that I've done is like walk in and you come into the living space open kitchen semi open kitchen and then dining space as well in the kind of little nook and then you've got the main like master bedroom downstairs in the back of the house and then you've got a bathroom on the main floor as well you've got like a full big bathroom and then upstairs i've got like a workshop room because it also factored in like handiness fishing and like collecting i don't think collecting is really a skill but if you want to have a sim that's like very outdoorsy very much into collecting items and things like that i think this would work well because they have a space for that they have like a room that you could like take out the cabinets for and put maybe shelves and then put all your collections on there or something like that so that's what i had in mind and then we've got the son's bedroom and then there's also like a small bathroom it's only like a three by two bathroom i believe it is so it's a tight bathroom but the fact that they've got a big one downstairs i just felt like it was fine i just like the idea of having two bathrooms and then at least they don't have to share essentially <laughs> but yeah i just had fun like trying to figure out how to build in like a bit of a tighter space it was a smaller space and i thought like i had to kind of like there were, there were moments where i was trying to move things around like maybe the dining area was going to be when you enter the house and then the living room was going to be on the other side because i knew i wanted a fireplace it was just it was hard to figure out the floor plan but yeah um kind of following on from the baker's build that i did was it the baker's build maybe it wasn't the baker's build it was the last like family-ish speed build that i did i believe and they had like the cow plant poster in their room and i was talking about how this child it's like I imagine in that kind of time frame with the sim is like cow plants aren't a common thing they're a rare thing and this child wants to like be the person who has like a cow plant farm whatever kind of based on the fact of like you know this sim this elderly sim is probably a collector they like fishing and things like that and you can find cow plants through fishing and I don't know if you can find them through just like collecting things I think it's only fishing but I could be wrong and um like the seed packets and stuff maybe I th I'm not sure if you can get it in the rare seed packets I'm not sure but I know for sure you can get it through fishing so I imagine that maybe during their fishing trip they found a cow plant so I did put a cow plant in this garden <laughs> originally I just put one from the debug menu but I realized it wasn't grown so I did go to the gallery which the gallery is very helpful for things like that and found a fully grown cow plant so if you ever want plants trees things like that like you're just building you're not you don't need to be realistic or you don't want to have to like have your sims find a, tr a certain plant and grow a certain plant you can literally find so much on the gallery like there's people that if you want maybe the ambrosia meal or i don't know whatever meal that you probably need your sim to have to like stay alive or maybe you need a certain potion or whatever it's probably on the gallery just search it and you'll find something so the gallery helped me out there <laughs> and i found i was searching for the boat that i put on the car for so long because i swore that there was this type of boat like i know there's a kind of like sailing boats i don't know if that's the right word for them i knew there was those sailing boats that are quite early up in the base game kind of debug menu but for some reason i was like i am sure there's like a row boat like a push well i don't want to say a push boat because I don't think bikes and boat boats have like similar terms <laughs> so it wasn't like a push boat but like do you know like a row boat basically I thought they'd have that like I said they're a very humble family so maybe this boat has been something that their dad built maybe and then you know now they take that out with them when they go fishing and they might just spend some time on the local lake or whatever it might be to do some fishing so I was searching for ages for that boat and when I finally came across it I was like I knew it I knew there was a boat in debug <laughs> and I just loved the fact that it's got like moss on the bottom of it as well I was like oh it's just the little details that make it so realistic I love that so um yeah and then originally I was going to go around and put all the fences around the house and then I was going to um like just have one bit of the fence kind of like open almost and then I kind of like the idea of making it look like it's a gate and the doors have opened so that's kind of how I switched up and changed the way that those the angle of the fences are against the fence <laughs> i think i described that very well but what's new <laughs> i kept the landscaping very simple at the back and at the front because i just felt like they're not 
gardeners i don't think they've manicured the garden very much or at all so i kind of wanted it to feel a bit more overgrown i didn't want it to look too cutesy or too pretty because i just didn't feel like that was the vibe that i was getting from this family like i'm pretty sure they might weed the plants if that but at, at the most i don't think they do that much <laughs> to the environment or to the build so i just kept it simple and i did put some like random things at the front of the house probably a bit of like i'd say a bit they, they're a bit of much of like a hoarders i don't know maybe because like at the front of the house i found this like sculpture and it's kind of like a bear and it's kind of just like looks like it's growled and whatever so i decided to just i think i sized up or was it already big i can't remember i put that at the front of the house and i thought maybe they found that and they just decided to put it at the front of the house and that's that's what they're known for in the neighborhood <laughs> for that scary bear looking sculpture in front of the porch <laughs> and then i just put like a gnome a plant there as well i think i put like a table and chairs was it debug no it wasn't debug i did put a debug chair then i just put a plant above it found some boxes and debug as well i just wanted the house to feel lived in but also just like they don't take they don't spend a lot of time like doing up the house or anything like that like they they eat they live they sleep that's that's the bare minimum that they do at the house but they spend a lot of time outside doing outdoorsy things so i just wanted to kind of give the vibe that they do a lot of stuff outside and the house isn't really their priority of like keeping it to look aesthetically pleasing i said the quotation marks <laughs> because for me this was aesthetically like cozy and i had a lot of fun building because i had in mind that i want it to feel lived in and like there's generations that's been there like they the sun grew up here i wanted it to kind of feel like that so i did go slightly dated with like the kitchen and appliances and just the different things around the house and i did put things which i don't normally put cut out on top of the fridge but i decided to this time and i just use a trick where i use the cube from dream home decorator place the things on top of them and then it kind of um leveled up to where i want it to sit on top of the fridge and that's the only shelf that i think does that i don't know if the uh, i think the high school years probably does that but most of the shelves it doesn't have good snap points so that one's the one i go to because it has a big snap point on it so it most items snap to it which is great i did do a build recently which you'll see on thursday and it the tv that i wanted to use didn't snap to it and i was so annoyed because it was floating and i didn't know how else to do it but luckily when i lowered it it kind of went into the shelf but you couldn't see it and i was like i can live with that that's fine so um yeah bit of a pain but it's fine again i didn't use loads of no cl clutter in the kitchen because it was a tight squeeze so you wouldn't have anywhere to cook but i put a microwave because i don't manage like i imagine they cook often i think because of the handiness skill i've mentioned this before always always upgrade the microwave and they don't get that mood lit where the, the food was cold in the middle just i always upgrade it <laughs> for that reason it's so annoying and i'm pretty sure their hunger doesn't go up very much as well if they're uncomfortable after eating the food i'm pretty sure so they just eat again soon after so yeah i just want to cancel it out so always trying to upgrade the microwaves if i ever use them but anyway the microwave has the um like uh oh what do they call it it's called like a tv dinner or is it called just like a microwave dinner i think it's just called a microwave dinner but it just reminds me of like a roast that you'd probably get that's like vacuum packed and like on an airplane or something i don't know but in my mind i had that's what they eat <laughs> that's what the dad eats okay the son might go out a bit more so he might like eat at restaurants or he might see friends and like take out or order a pizza or maybe he'll cook something but i had in mind that the dad is definitely a tv dinner kind of person and that microwave was perfect for that <laughs> and he just like sits in the living room in front of the fire and he enjoys that he might put the radio on i did put a radio on the coffee table so he might just listen to the radio whilst he's there but i put a tv in the bedroom because i just felt like he probably doesn't spend a lot of time in the living room he's probably either in his like workshop room upstairs or he's outside fishing or he's in his own bedroom so i put items in the bedroom that allow him to kind of be cozy and to do his own things so like a chair in there i think did i put a bookshelf or did i put books in there i can't remember but there's a bookshelf bookshelf i think there's two in the house anyway so he can always read if they wanted to read in his room but i knew i wanted a fireplace and originally i moved things around so i had like the accent table as you enter so almost like a table that you would like throw things on like as you come in the house keys and letters and stuff but then originally then i switched it around and moved the fireplace to that wall and then the accent table is naturally behind the sofa and i feel like it kind of, i like the way that turned out because it kind of just makes it feel like everything's all meshed together <laughs> like the house is just like super cluttered and tightly everything's tightly packed in so you've just got this like small thin table behind the sofa that doesn't really need to be there but it's there anyway and then you've got like a coffee table like i didn't i just didn't make the house feel like 
they have loads of people around and it's like really hustling and bustling and really busy like it's just it's not the case they do what they need to do at home and then the rest of the stuff they probably do outside and yeah I can imagine the son's just like he wants to renovate the house or he wants to like expand the house and the dad's just like nope <laughs> you're not doing that but um we'll see what happens i don't know i had i had plans on being like oh maybe i should renovate this house house and like expand it a bit more and change up a bit but maybe we'll do that at a later time i know i did get um like a suggestion from connor to um what do you call it like see if i could build a house i think on my last video i got a comment about building a house from like a tv show or something and i actually had that thought quite recently and i can't remember what it was i was watching i think it was twilight because i've i've re i'm re-watching twilight i can't get those words out so me and my sister always re-watching it we finished twilight eclipse and new moon wait no it's new moon then eclipse right i'm pretty sure and then <laughs> i literally just watched it the other day how can i not remember so then we're gonna finish breaking dawn part one and two um tonight actually so yeah um and then what else have we started watching oh no that was it that was it i thought we started watching something else and we just had to finish that but no that's that's it <laughs> but yeah um i was thinking of building the cousin's house because I was like, it looks like cool and modern and sleek. But then I was also like, it's a big build, one, two. I'm pretty sure it's like on a mountain. And I was like, do I have to use terrain tools? Terrain tools are so scary and intimidating to use. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just build Bella's house. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to have, like, I don't feel like I watch loads of things where I'm like, oh, I can build that house in the in the Sims. Like, what do I rewatch constantly? Like, I rewatch The Office all the time. I'm re-watching New Girl at the moment and well it's like Twilight like I feel like I just watch the same things over and over again like I don't watch a lot of new things oh my gosh we did watch Black Panther last weekend not last weekend the weekend before that was such a great movie such a great film if you haven't seen it definitely go and see it I do love me a Marvel film and Black Panther does not disappoint at all I think I've spoken through a lot of downstairs <laughs> I think I show you both bathrooms I can't remember because I normally only show you one and I definitely would have shown you the big one downstairs because it was the main bathroom and you would have seen the kitchen dining living space come together and I kept in a few of me changing like a few of the changes I made because I just felt like I don't know maybe you guys want to see like my thought process as I'm building and if you ever want to see my thought process what I'm building I'd build a lot on stream but this week there's no sims this week <laughs> I'm carrying on this stream schedule that I had for last week this week I really can't get my words out today so this week I'm gonna finish a Plague Tale. Please, please, I need to finish it. I need to finish it. I want to start Lake, and I wasn't sure if that will be a game I just play by myself or if I'll stream it. I don't know yet, but I want to start that game. Um, and then we don't. It takes two on Friday with my sister. We're gonna continue that, which I enjoy that game. I really am enjoying that game. But this is the master bedroom. This is the um, dad's bedroom and i kind of always go for like especially when it comes to base game builds i always go with like a blue or a green theme for bedrooms i don't know what it is and like neutral colored living rooms like blues greens they are my go-to colors when it comes to base game builds i don't know if you guys have noticed that but there's a theme <laughs> there's definitely a theme so this dad has definitely got a bit of a green and dark wood themed bedroom and I can imagine this is the same kind of like furniture and stuff that they had whilst his wife was still about and I did actually put one of the portrait photos and like place it above like the end table or like place it on the end table to make it look like it was leaning but it is literally flat to the wall so it's only a certain angle it kind of looks like it's leaning there <laughs> but for the most part it's not leaning on it it's, it's literally just sitting on the wall but just like on top of the end table to make it look like it's a leaning photo almost and I just wish I had more stuff to put on walls like i never know what to put on walls so i just ended up doing shelves and like random little knickknacks like i said i think there'll be a bit of a hoarder so i wanted it to feel like space was just like taken up everywhere like i wanted every corner to kind of be filled but i have that problem with every build anyway like i always feel like every corner needs to be filled otherwise it just looks empty or weird which i don't know if it's like always the case but for me i just always get a bit like fussy about what corners and spaces that i'm using and, and hoping that i'm using every single corner and space possible but um yeah <laughs> i think it's just me i think i've just got my own like vision of what i want and then it's hard sometimes to like get that out of my head but yeah i, I forgot to mention this is on a 30 by 20 lot and i did say it was three bedrooms two bathrooms right so i think i built this in willow creek i think it was willow creek i can't remember 
I feel like I always build on Willow Creek or Newcrest. I can't remember the last time I built in a new world or a different world. So yeah, I might have to challenge myself to build something in a different world <laughs> for next week's videos or something because yeah, I just, I love building Willow Creek and Newcrest. Like it's my favorite world to build in. I, I think I just love building the base game worlds and I don't know what it is, but I just really do. Maybe it's just the familiarity of it all. Like I know the world's well enough to be able to just like go into a lot and be like, I know what I want to build. I say that, but always just brings not all the time i know what i want to build in that world <laughs> this is the little workshop area surprisingly the little chair that i put on an angle right next to the counters i did not intend for it to be usable i wanted it to just be like decoration almost or just a bit like a pro it kind of just made it look like a prop room like a, a room that was like set up to make it look like someone is actually using the chair when i know the sims aren't using the chair or putting it out like that but in my head, I wanted it to look like that. But when I went to play at this house, I literally just got my sim to sit on every seat in the house because I just wanted to see it. And they sat down on it, so it's usable. <laughs> they can sit down in that chair that's like right up against the counter in that, that little workshop room. So have fun with that. And I got my sim to play at the um, handiness table. So it meant <laughs> so it meant that when they um, when you download this build, there is going to be like a half started um, sculpture on that hand in this table because i just thought ah it'll be a fine because <laughs> i just got them to stop once they started i was like okay i know it works it's fine move on and then i thought you know it kind of i like the way it looks it looks like you've started a project and then you but your sim can always scrap it or whatever they could probably put it in imagery and sell it get a bit of cheeky cheeky simonians i think it's only probably like a couple of simonians i don't think as much <laughs> and then with the last room the sun's room it was a bit of a tight squeeze i wanted him to have a desk and everything at first i wasn't sure what kind of theme i was going for with the the room it feels a bit empty but i think it's because it would have been his childhood room so i just feel like he probably took out a lot of his childhood stuff and put that away and then now it's this kind of like teen young adult room and he's kind of kept it very minimal maybe they have a partner and they spend a lot of time in their partner's house maybe so a lot of their stuff kind of just ends up accumulating between two homes i don't know i just felt like the room didn't have loads in it or loads going on in it because they kind of get into the age where they don't need loads of stuff in their room or they don't want stuff in their loads of stuff in their room and um i didn't kind of get to the photographer part until i picked up a camera and was like okay they're a photographer <laughs> that's what happens it bees like that sometimes like i don't know the storyline for every sim sometimes and i might just pick it on item and be like okay this is what i'm going for i don't want to do artists i feel like i always do like an art related sim so they kind of are creative and artsy but they photographer instead and if you have machino stuff pack you can really like follow through with that photographer career but i'm pretty sure this is the last room and i'm waffling on so <laughs> let me leave you to enjoy the screenshots if you enjoyed this speed build do give me a like and if you haven't already subscribed please do comment below if you have any other ideas for base game careers skills related homes that i could do i do want to do kind of like a mischievous home like a maybe a white picket fence home but they've got like a secret basement for something mysterious so they can practice some like mischief skills or do something a bit cheeky that's the kind of plan i had but um that's all i can think of right now i can't think of any other base game related builds and as always i nearly forgot <laughs> this build is up on the gallery my gallery id is sub with the summer or super 02 everything is linked and mentioned in my description and i will see you on thursday guys have a great day see you soon bye